I love how we've got just one assist in the 34 games that we've played. But yeah, 21 goals in the Premier League so far. This is the season finale of the Play Career Mode. It's, it's gone down so quickly, guys. We're almost like one season in. And we've played for a couple of clubs as well. It's a bit crazy, but what's the situation on the Golden Boot? That is something that interests me a lot. It's neck and neck versus Mo Salah. 21 goals apiece. One of us is going to take that Golden Boot home. And don't count out Ronaldo as well, because he's on 18. So uh, the race for the Golden Boot is on for the finale. And not just that, the race for the Premier League title is on as well. Man City are a couple of points clear. Anything could happen. What are, who are we facing in the last four games of the season West Ham leads Newcastle Everton all these games are winnable for us and we need to win them and if we do so maybe we'll be champions of England in our first season of the player career mode last episode we already made our England debut so things are going crazy right now let's see what we can achieve in this one but if you're enjoying the player career mode the grind drop a like in the video subscribe if you're new around here as well and also I'm recording these episodes live on Twitch um, catch the new season over there soon. Uh, links to my Twitch will be in the description. And let's get on the grind. By the way, a quick question. Is there a limit on the archetypes you can have on your player? I think three is like the limit. We've got a couple now. We've got the bull archetype. And we've got the pace one. So basically, we've just maxed out our pace and our physical stats. But is it unlimited? Can we get like dribbling, passing and all the other archetypes as well? If we can... Yo, our player's going to be OP within like a couple of seasons more, which will which will be fun. You know what, guys? We're straight away getting into game one of the episode. It's against West Ham. They're a good team. Pretty sure West Ham are near the top four. Okay, they're seventh. But West Ham are good, guys. We're playing them away as well. Hey, Jared Bowen up top. Who remembers Jared Bowen? Absolute hero, guys. He's up top for West Ham. That's our team. Let's keep the pace and put pressure on City. That's all we can do. Every game is like a final now for us in the Prem. We got to keep winning and maybe then we'll have a chance to win the title if City slip up. Good cross in for West Ham. We deal with that fairly well. Okay, chaotic. We deal with it though. Here we go now. Here we go. Pepe. Back inside for me. Good pass for Odegaard. He's managed to hold that up really well. Martinelli cross in. Ah. Oh. That's good defending from Masuaku. Okay, wh why is everybody just standing still? Odegaard, out wide. Martinelli, cross comes in. It's a good ball for me. I got to score this. What a header. That's why we have the physical perk on. It is OP, guys, when we can get it right. That cross from Martinelli was perfect. And a very, very satisfying header to score. It is 1-0 Arsenal in this final, you could say, in the Prem. What, what movement, guys. And what a header. Reminds me of Ronaldo in his prime, you could say, you know. He's still very good in the air, obviously, but what a header. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Another chance. Another chance. I tried to do a fake shot, but it didn't work. Oh, look at the pace boost I just got there. My left foot is just non-existent. On the turn. I swear I can't get finesse shots right half the time, but that finish shot took a few deflections. Could have gone anywhere. Wow, that was an attempt from West Ham. Leno with a good save. Another chance. Jared Bowen. Our hero is trying to cause us pain, but, you know, doesn't in that instance. Half time, 1 0 up. Just got to keep this up. As Jared Bowen, uh, that's my fault. We're going to let Jared Bowen score now. Oh my god, he's chipped us. That's my fault, guys. I, I made a stupid long ball to give Jared Bowen. Basically, I've assisted Jared Bowen myself here. Literally, Cedinho has assisted Jared Bowen there. And here he is again. Bowen has channeled his inner Messi in this game. And he's dominating right now. Look at him turn and shoot. I'm still fanboying over Bowen after what he did for us in the series we did with West Ham last year. Ah, I just can't get past Sushek. It's like I'm playing against my team. I, I, I've used the West Ham team so much in career mode that now it's... Again, look at Cedinho walk. What is that? What is this walking style, guys? Like, what the hell? As West Ham have a chance to score. And we're gonna lose. We've done an Arsenal. We have legit done an Arsenal. 2-1 down as Cedinho was just doing his weird run. I don't even know what was that. Another chance for them to score. Leno saves us there, but we need to respond, guys. Otherwise, the things could really end bad for us. We lose this game. I think we're out of the Prem title race. I don't know what's the scene in the Champions League. I think we're still clear for Champions League football for next season, but would love to have maybe even put up a fight against City, but oh, we're losing against... West Ham, after actually scoring a really good goal as well. Frustrating. Fake shot. Can we get at least a point from this? Ah, oh, the dribbling let me down towards the end there. Be able to do something here again. 
I'm taking one with my left foot. Oh my god! Wow! We've got the equalizer in the 90th minute. Are you kidding me? That's my weak foot from outside the box. We're celebrating like we won the league. But hey, we at least get a goal of the season contender. What? Oh my god, was that insane. Nah, 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 nah. That was absolutely insane. What a touch. Left foot. H how does the keeper not save that and save everything else that we shoot? Unreal. We need a better angle of this because my good lord was that insane. What a strike. Absolutely ridiculous. 23 goals in 35 games. That's a brace for him and a point secured against West Ham that might be en you know, end up keeping us in the title race. We don't know, but what a finish to the game. A point salvaged by Cedinho himself, literally alone. Now, the real question is, have Manchester City taken an L or not? They haven't even played their game in hand. They haven't played their game in hand, guys. It's that close. Who does City play? They've got Newcastle left. That'll give us a good indication. They've got Watford. They've got all easy games. West Ham. Okay, that's an interesting team. But that's about it, really. Oh, Aston Villa. They've got all easy games. Oh, annoying. Okay, so we have Leeds. Newcastle and Everton. Which games do we sit out? We'll sit out one. We'll play Everton for sure. Okay, we'll sit out Newcastle. They're in the relegation zone. Okay, battle for the golden boot. 23 goals. Two more than Salah. So that's good. At least if we can win the golden boot, I think that'll be a really, really good achievement for the first season. Here we go. Now we play Leeds United at home. Our former club again. Last time we played them, they beat us in the FA Cup and knocked us out. Now we're playing them again as the top scorer of the Premier League and I want to score against them. I am desperate to score against my former club. Let's show Bielsa what he missed out on. I'm, I'm, this is the game I want to score in. Let's hope we can do that. Playing against my former team again. The last time we played them, we didn't score. I don't like that. This time I want to score because, yeah, they, they betrayed us. Leeds betrayed us after we were top of the scoring charts for them. And they just sold us out of the blue. We need revenge. Oh, what a goal from Leeds United. I mean, I didn't even see the ball. Yo, this episode's not going well. We lost to West Ham. And now Fofana has just banged one in. The power behind that shot was outrageous. Like, wow. Okay. That is genuinely a bit unreal. Wow. Okay. Good pass. Oh, good pass for Odegaard. Big chance for him. How has he missed that? Near post and that would have been a goal. And my second assist as well. Ah, he's literally just completely missed the net. Oh, by the way, I, I, did I mention we lost to West Ham? No, we got a draw against them because we did score in the 90th to a screamer, by the way, to, you know, get a point off it. But still, it felt like a loss because it actually felt like a win because it was a late goal. But still, we've, yeah, we've been terrible in this episode. That's what I'm hinting at. But that might change now as we find Nicola Pepe. Pepe could play it back to me. That was a simple pass, Pepe. You've got to get them through. Okay, a challenge in the box from me. That's that's something new. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you legit kidding me? Like, how, how do we every time play against Leeds and end up getting humiliated? Like, against my former team, I would love to maybe do a bit more. Instead, we just get humiliated. Like, what? Again, like, <laughs> top corner as well. It's always against Leeds. Much better now. Much better. Left foot. Oh, I'm telling you guys, left-footed shots with Cedinho are much better than his right-footed shots. It makes no sense, but we already scored a banger in this episode with the left. And, okay, now header. Nah, that was that was asking a bit too much. I mean, something could still happen. Nah, it doesn't. Leeds defend that. Oh, played back to me. That's decent. It's decent. If I can get it in. Oh, lovely. That is lovely. No, how am I missed that? I just am cursed, man. I just cannot score against my former team. Look at the build-up play there. The flick up to bring it inside. How do I not score? How do I not score? Odegaard, good pass. Oh, the pace boost has worked. This is our chance. This is our chance. We've skied it. I can't believe it, man. What do we have to do? Even the fans are furious. How? All right, let's go. Bit of pace here. Bit of pace. I'm doing everything I can to get a goal, maybe, for Leeds United. For, against Leeds United. But it's just not working. My dribbling is off point. My stamina is now super low. Huh. Nope. Okay, that was the worst Berber spin I've ever seen. <laughs> Cedinho still loves Leeds deep in his heart, says someone from the Twitch chat. <laughs> Evidently, because 
automatically his shots are going all above the crossbar or a cross goal. So, yeah. What else can I assume? Rodrigo with the chance to make it 3-0 leads. Good save. They almost made it 3-0 there. Wow. <laughs> Said he knew ain't no star boy after this performance. Yikes. Are, you re are we really hearing Raven flag while we get completely ripped apart by leads? This is not happening, guys. This is this is not happening. Full time. And with that, our Premier League title race is over. No chance now. Zero chance of winning it. No point even playing the last couple of games. Huh. The curse of Leeds continues. The curse of Leeds continues. We're yet to score against our former club. And we've lost both games. Bielsa was right, at least according to this. How do I have six skill points available? I just noticed. Did we get a level up? We, I think we've got a level up. Six skill points. I think we did get a level up to level 15. Six skill points. Where do we improve this? Yeah, we'll, we'll give one boost to passing. Long passing and vision. I don't mind that. And we've got two left. Maybe shooting. Maybe a bit of shooting, guys. Oh, heading accuracy. Which one is that? You know what? I'm removing one from this. Let's boost that heading accuracy. We'll need that. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, we've got two more left. We've got two more skill points left. Bit of dribbling. Oh, yeah. We'll run with this. Let's go. Okay, guys. We're going to sit this one out. I mean, not really sit this one out, but I'm not going to be playing this. We'll just quick sim this against Newcastle. They're 19th in the Prem. Can we just please get on the score sheet? Like, please? We still don't get on the score sheet, man. Like, what? 3-1 against Newcastle, though, which is really, really nice. One game to go. I think we've secured the golden boot, guys. So we don't have to play that final game because there's no point playing it. We can't win the Prem. And we've basically secured third spot. So we can just sit this one out against Everton and end the season. Because it's been a painful episode already. We've won the golden boot. We've done our objectives for the season. Can't score though here. But we'll take a final confirmation. But yeah, uh, that's the season done. 38 games done. We spent half of it at Leeds where we were really good. But we got kicked out basically. And ultimately went to Arsenal. Where Manchester City beat us to the title. Fair enough I guess. Player of the tournament for the Prem. Hey, we've won player of the tournament in the Premier League. Let's go. That is a bit insane, I'm not going to lie. Golden boot winner as well. Let's freaking go. Team of the tournament. Are we in there? We've got to be in there. We've won the golden boot and player of the tournament. We've got to be in here. And we are in here. The only Arsenal player in the team of the tournament. Let's go. Final look at the Premier League table. Third in the league, 74 points. We've helped take Arsenal to Champions League football next season. The question is, are we going to be at Arsenal or not? You guys know, in this series, we often become a journeyman. Is it time to maybe venture somewhere else? What do you guys think? Or should we stay at a season for Arsenal and just experience the Champions League? We'll see, we'll see. All will be decided in the next episode of the My Player series. One look at the stats of Sir Cedinho. 23 goals this season in the Premier League in 38 games. Just the one assist, but not too bad. Not too bad. And with that, season's come to a close. And we're going to be wrapping up the episode. We end our first season of the player career mode being 79 rated. What a season, boys. What a season. And we'll see what's ahead for Cedinho's career. If you enjoyed season one of the player career mode, drop a like, subscribe if new around here. And well, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.